Tool 29, in a command or request, if you use a name or term for the person you are commanding or requesting something from, that name or term is not the subject. That name or term is called the addressing word, or AW. Use commas to separate the addressing word, AW, from the rest of the command or request. The invisible U is still the subject. Okay, take a moment to write that down, and I'll help you detangle that. So if we go back to our sentences, you go to the store, right? Well, someone may say something like, go to the store, Bill, okay? And you may be tempted in that sentence to say, oh, Bill is the subject because he's the one going to the store. Well, this tool tells us not so. You is still the subject. The Bill is going to be what we call an addressing word. A W. In other words, it's a word that tells us who the U is. Who are we addressing in this sentence? Okay. Um, similarly, you buy me a loaf of bread, right? Um, buy me a loaf of bread, Marie, right? Um, again, that Marie is going to be our addressing word. A W. Or I may say, Mom, get out. And get leave me alone, right? Um, similarly, that mom is still not the subject. The subject is still you, and mom there is the aw or addressing word. Okay. Oops. Um, you'll notice uh, the second part of this tool tells us that we separate it. We use commas to separate the addressing word from the rest of the sentence. So if the addressing word is at the end, we put comma then the addressing word. If the AW is at the beginning, we put the AW, and then comma, and then the command itself. We could even put it in the middle, right? Um, while you're up, uh, Joe, get me a soda. Okay. Um, Joe, in this case, is going to be our addressing word. AW. Uh, get is going to be the verb, and what's going to be the subject? It's going to be that invisible you. You is the subject, um, and you'll notice here if the aw comes in the middle of the sentence, the commas go both be right before it and right after it. Okay, so that aw always gets separated from the rest of the sentence with commas.